So in this lecture, we are going to be doing an installation of our Puppeteer and getting started with Puppeteer and see how we can play around with Puppeteer with Visual Studio codes and stuff. So basically to work with Puppeteer, all we need to have is the Node.js installed within our machine. And then we need to have Visual Studio code because that's the IDE. I prefer basically to write the code, but if you prefer to work with uh, IntelliJ IDE, you can use that. Or if you prefer with Atom or Sublime or whatever IDE that you basically like it, you can go with any of these IDEs. But I personally prefer Visual Studio code because it is cross-platform and it's lightweight and it's very easy to install and getting started as well. So I'll be using Visual Studio code as an IDE for this whole course. So instead of wasting so much of time, I'm going to quickly jump into my Visual Studio code and I will show you how the installation is going to be done within my environment. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to open the item terminal and within this terminal, I'm going to open uh, or create a directory. So I'm just going to do a directory I'm going to call this as uh, Udemy Puppeteer. And within this Udemy Puppeteer, I'm going to open the Visual Studio code. So that opens Visual Studio code for me. And in here, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to name this as package.json because as you know, this is a node project. So I'm going to create a package.json file and within in here, uh, I'm going to create a dev dependency and I'm going to put what is called as a puppeteer. So now people can argue like, why is it a dev dependency? Why is it not just a dependency? Again, it's all your personal choice, guys. If you want to go with us a dev dependency, you can go with that. Or if you feel that you want to go with a dependency, uh, then you can go with that as well. So I personally prefer it as a dev dependency and that's why I'm doing it over here. And once I do that, you can see that automatically Visual Studio Code brings up the uh, latest version for us in here, right? Which is pretty cool and thanks to Visual Studio Code and that's the reason these IDEs are pretty popular. So now I'm gonna do a Windows Shift P uh, to open the shortcut and where I can open the integrator terminal. So in Windows, it is Windows Shift P and in Mac, it is Command Shift P. And because I have Mac, it's Command Shift P. So I'm just gonna open that. And now in here, I'm going to do an NPM install. So this way it will install the Puppeteer for me within my Visual Studio code within this particular directory. And you can see that it is also downloading a Chromium within this particular folder, which is, the, which is nothing but the Node modules Puppeteer folder. So if you open this node underscore modules, and if you go all the way to the Puppeteer, you can also see that it is going to download the local Chromium. So you can see that it is currently downloading this thing and it is gonna download Chromium for, in, for you in here. And that's the reason that I told you that the installation is super simple. You don't really even have a Chrome installed within your machine. It's all gonna work like a copy of Chrome is being downloaded for you by installing the Puppeteer itself, which is pretty awesome. And another thing that people ask is, uh, this size of this particular project gets very bigger. It's like 108 MB uh, just with the Puppeteer, but uh, combining all of them is gonna be a lot of uh, space, which is gonna be a storage problem while they deploy in the CI CD. So like how to work with that. And that's why there is something called as a Puppeteer core. So if you just, open uh, and if you just put this thing so you can see that within this puppeteer you also have something called as puppeteer core so with puppeteer core what it does is it won't download this particular local copy of chromium for you rather it just uh, downloads the puppeteer libraries but not the chromium itself so this is something that you can use as well so if you feel like you're going to use the current Chrome that you have within your machine instead of having this particular Chromium thing, then probably you can just use Puppeteer Core. But I'm going to use the Puppeteer in here because it's kind of very, very easy and straightforward. And you can see once I hit Puppeteer, you can see there are many different extensions and plugins available. Don't worry about it yet. And also there is something called as Puppeteer Firefox. Pretty new. So as that said, Puppeteer not only runs in Chromium, this Puppeteer Firefox is kind of very, very new. It's still in beta stage, 
but it is gonna run your test on the Firefox browser as well. So now your popular test is not just restricted to run in Chrome browser, but also it runs in Firefox browser and of course in Electron it runs as well, which is pretty awesome. So you can run this in kiosk and there are many different steps. I will be talking about that later, guys. Don't worry about it yet. But as of now, Puppeteer is what we are going to install and we're pretty good to go. As I said, this is the uh, installation and getting started with the uh, Puppeteer within your Visual Studio code. Next up is creating a very super simple code in Puppeteer and see how it works, which we'll be discussing in our next video. Thank you.